In this video, we'll graph the linear equation for y equals 3x minus 2. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll just plug numbers in and then graph the equation. Then we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So let's just put some numbers in and see what values we get. I like to start with 0. You can start with any number you want. This just usually gets us small enough numbers to fit on our graph. 3 times 0 is 0, so y is going to equal minus 2. If we put 1 in for x, 3 times 1, that's 3, minus 2. That just gives us 1. And let's put negative 1 in. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Minus 2 gives us a negative 5. So these are the points that we'll use for our graph here. So we have 0 for x and then minus 2. Then we have 1, 1. And finally, we have minus 1, then minus 5 here. So these are the points on the line for y equals 3x minus 2. You can put a line over them. And that's our graph for y equals 3x minus 2. Let's put a little arrow since it goes to infinity. Let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept, negative 2. So the line, it should cross the y-axis at negative 2. So we go down 1, 2, and there it is. So that's our y-intercept. Now we can use the slope to do the rest of the graph. Instead of 3, let's think of this as 3 over 1. It's the same thing. But now we can say we have rise over run. So we can go to our y-intercept. We can rise 3, 1, 2, 3, and go over 1. 1, 2, 3, and over 1, and so on. Likewise, we could go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. So this confirms that we did this correctly, and we have the correct graph for y equals 3x minus 2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.